Hello everybody, this is Doug Smith with Mobility Digest. Today we're going to take a second look at the AT&T Tilt 2. We're going to do some comparisons with the AT&T Fuse and the older Tilt and then do a walk through the new device and show you a few things about it. So let's get started. Um, hopefully everybody saw my video unboxing and what we're looking at here is the AT&T Tilt 2. It has a much cleaner finish than uh, what you're going to find in some of the other US carriers. It's got the chrome bezel like the HTC branded Touch Pro 2. Um, new also is the really uh, um, wire mesh uh, earphone which kind of makes it look uh, really nice and enhances the chrome bezel. You have the four buttons across the bottom. Your phone send and the uh, start menu back and then uh, call uh, cancel so looking around and the first thing you can see obviously is the big huge 3.6 WVGA screen take the stylus out it wakes the device up and I don't have a sim card in it right now so it allows us to take a, a better look um, without the phone ringing so uh, let's check it out first against the AT&T fuse as you can see the fuse is uh, a little bit thicker much shorter the fuse has the uh, 2.8 screen and not nearly the size keyboard. Now let's get the older AT&T tilt in, which is the uh, Titan 2. As you can see, the screen rotation looks to be just about the same in the tilted position. And you can take a look at the keyboards. Much nicer Tilt 2 keyboard. Um, AT&T, uh, as you notice here, has the numbers on the uh, keys, not across the top row like the HTC Touch Pro 2 and the other US carriers all opted to maintain the the uh, numbers across the top. So at your function here and then your shift here, which is a little different than the fuse. Uh, the fuse uh, has it uh, a couple buttons up or one button up with the OK down at the bottom. So a little bit of a learning curve there. There's also not as many uh, keys, so you're going to be missing a few of your symbols on the uh, tilt two, and require a function uh, button prior to the uh, to the symbol. So let's continue and take a look um, at its keyboard here, and then we'll close the device. This is the uh, left side. You have your volume up and volume down, and then the AT&T push to touch button right there. Uh, the bottom of the device, you have your uh, mic for in call and then your mini USB. What you don't see here as as we've uh, written about is no 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So it will require a splitter uh, if you're going to power the device to go into another USB if you have a USB uh, earphone set or uh, it comes with the 3.5 millimeter and 2.5 millimeter audio uh, adapter as well. So you can go with the older style plugs into it Okay, and then the stylus obviously is out. The stylus is going right here. It's a little bit different stylus than the fuse. It's a rounded top to it, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. Um, on the back side, as you can see, you have your camera right here. And then this button right here is going to be a mute when you're in the conference call mode. This is a dual speaker, dual mic uh, device, uh, really made for the business class, uh, really help people out that needing to make conference calls. Uh, the sound quality is just outstanding on it, so I've already tested it out a little bit. I don't have any music or anything on it now to show you, but we'll do that a little bit later down the road. So um, again, you have here another mic, and then another one right here that you can see. And then the top of the device, you have your power button. It's very uh, smooth and tapered to the device. Um, it's not hard to, uh, to press, and it really uh, meshes or blends in well with the top very nice looking and then uh, here on the side so that covers the outside of the device and uh, now let's take a look at what's inside 
because as you know, as you can see, it's there's no micro SD card slot on the outside or the missing uh, soft reset. So let's take a look at that. Let's pop the cover off. Let's go ahead and turn this off. And the 3G 18T animation that we all love. Okay, twice is off. Let's check out the back. And this is what I said in my, um, well, what you'll read in my review, is this back is quite a bit uh, uh, more flimsy than the uh, the fuse. It's uh, very, very thin plastic. I really like the color. Um, it's not the fingerprint magnet that the uh, fuse was, but it is very, very thin. So as you can see here, uh, you know, you may want to start thinking about investing in a new one. I will say that when it's on the back of the device, it is uh, very solid, that you don't get any movement out of it. But, uh, you know, if you're constantly removing it, I would think that this would wear pretty quick. So, um, you probably even get the HTC Touch Pro 2, the gray one, would probably look pretty nice on here as well. So, we'll put that aside. And right here, as you can see, get my finger out of the way the soft reset. It's colored red inside there. You will have to remove the cover to soft reset the device. If it freezes up, uh, you're going to be right here with your stylus. Okay, so the power is off. Let's go ahead and remove the battery. This is a 1500 milliamp uh, battery. Right here. Not a whole lot to see on the battery. HTC Innovation and uh, to get your SIM card out, I don't have one in there right now, uh, hopefully you'll be able to see this. You put your stylus in here and then you simply push the SIM card out and then it slides right in. So, alright, that's a little bit more about the inside of the device. You can see the uh, microphones right here and then the camera, or excuse me, not the microphones, the uh, speakers right here. So let's go ahead and put this together. Uh, one of the questions that you're probably going to be asking is how to do a hard reset. Well, I'm going to go ahead and show you that right now. So put the cover back on. It goes on pretty nice. And as I mentioned, it's solid on there. It really fits well to the back of it. So even though that the, the back of the device is, um, the back cover of the device is very flimsy, um, very thin, uh, it really fits on the device well and uh, looks really good. I, I really like the gray. It's a metallic finish. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do the hard reset. Now to do a hard reset on the HTC Touch Pro 2 or on the AT&T Tilt 2 um, or any of the uh, variants, uh, Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon, what you're going to do is turn the device off. Okay? Uh, it'd probably be easier to put, put it flat on the, on the surface. You're going to press the send and end buttons and then you're going to briefly hold the power. And as you can see, it quickly brings up. I went past the tricolor screen and right into the hard reset um, uh, screen here, which you'll have to do a volume up. And volume up. And it's restoring. Since uh, the device is uh, um, stock, I have not uh, done anything with it or put a SIM card in it. Uh, I'm not going to lose anything, obviously. You'll want to back up any information that you have if you do a hard reset. And we'll just take a, another quick look at the AT&T Tilt, um, the older version that uh, we have here, and uh, do a comparison to that. And uh, see, I can get my fingers out of the way. And the Tilt is uh, a lot thicker than the uh, the new Tilt 2, and the the Tilt 2 is obviously uh, a little bit bigger. And from the front. They're just about equal in width. As you see, my tilt has uh, been through a war. It was my daily driver for quite a while. This is Doug from Mobility Digest. Thank you.